السلام علیکم آئی ڈاکٹر محمد اکرم ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ایسٹرن میڈیسن گورنمنٹ کالج یونیورسٹی فیصل آباد وی ول ڈسکس گلائکوسائڈس گلائکوسائڈ ان کیمسٹری اے گلائکوسائڈ از اے مالیکیول ان وچ اے شوگر از باؤنڈ ٹو این ادر فنکشنل گروپ وایا اے گلائکوسائڈک بانڈ Glycosides, glycosides play a numerous important role in living organisms. Many plants store chemicals in the form of inactive glycosides. Glycosides play, play numerous important roles in living organisms. These can be activated by enzyme hydrolysis which causes the sugar part to be broken off making the chemical available for use many such plant glycosides are used as medicine several species of heliconius butterfly are capable of incorporating these plant compounds as a form of chemical defense against predators In animal and humans, peasants are often bound to sugar molecules as part of their elimination from the body. In former terms, a glycoside is any molecule in which a sugar group is bounded through its anomeric carbon to another group by a glycosidic bond. Glycosides can be linked by an oxygen O glycosides and a glycose amine S. A thioglycosides are C, C glycosides, glycosidic bond. According to the IUPAC, the name C glycoside is a misnomer. The preferred name is C glycosal compound. The given definition is the one used by IUPAC, which recommends the Haworth projections to correctly assigned stereochemical configuration. Many authors require in addition that the sugar be ad- bounded to a non-sugar for the molecule to qualify as a glycoside thus excluding polysaccharides. The sugar group is then known as the glycone and the non-sugar as the a glycone are genuine part of the glycosides. The glycone can consist of a single sugar monosaccharide, two sugar molecules, disaccharide or several sugar molecules, oligosaccharides. First glycosides even ever identified was amygdalin by the French chemist Perry Robiquet and Antony Boutron Charland in 1830. Thank you very much.